Um, governments have taken a decision uh, uh, to make a policy to buy a specified number of vehicles from local assembly automobile companies. The vice president, Dr. Mamudu Bamia, Baumia, pardon me, gave the assurance when he inspected two vehicles assembled by the Kantanka Automobile Company at its 39th technological exhibition at the Apostle Safo School of Art and Science in Accra. Take a look at this. One of the outdoor vehicles manufactured by Apostle Kwejo Safo is a military artillery for security agencies. The armored vehicle has been digitally programmed to be operated by a trained officer. The second, in the form of an aircraft, carries about 40 passengers. The vice president, Dr. Mohamed Obaumia, who was elated about the innovation, called on stakeholders to support the work of Apostle Kwejo Safo. We therefore have taken the decision to make it a policy to buy a specified number of vehicles from local assembly automotive companies such as Kantanka. And I would like to mention the government has already bought some vehicles from Kantanka and I know two of them are in my office, in the office of the Vice President. The founder of the Christa Safu Mission Church International, Apostle Kojo Safu, advocated a policy to reduce over reliance on foreign products. We import tilapia, which have been ejected. The food we eat also affects our health. I am more than 70 years, but still healthy. It is a time to change Ghanaian curriculum. Some other manufactured items, organic farm produce, were exhibited. Investing <laughs> in the local mm. uh, industries, I think that's very interesting. Uh, the various cars yeah. that you know Kantanka comes up with. What did you want to say? Well, I, I want to say that it's been many decades of <laughs> doing this Kantanka thing. Yeah. Most of us have been calling for support for him, mm. but I moment. think honestly. And you there's know, a I bit clap. of <laughs> a bit of yeah, no, I, oh for the yes. TV and oh that <laughs> yeah, all like that oh, right yes. carry on yes <laughs> yeah, but I think that there's a bit of misdirection in what sense in sense yeah. that look if you run a small business you are not looking at this vehicle if you run a small business you are looking at a, a, a picanto mm. or morning yeah. a Kia morning or something yeah. some small ride low Chevy. fuel consumption yeah. that you can run around town with mm. and do your business mm. and i think that that call started about five six years ago yeah. people kept saying that look your right. suvs are nice we can't buy but them we can't buy so them. invest in smaller vehicles that we can do here's an aeroplane <laughs> on the ground Will it fit on an works? already choked <laughs> yeah choked street space mm. how, many people, drive that? how many people can afford it mm. so we're seeing innovation, which is good, it's, it's fine. but we are not selling. We cannot, we are not exporting, we are not selling. So he's just showing us year on year what What's I've been able, able to able do, to, exactly. but we are not buying, we are not selling. Okay, hold on. So this red one that yeah. we just watched, the aeroplane, aeroplane on, on. is that also for the police or this is for <laughs> public... I don't know. I, it looks like I a, think luxury it's a, it's a luxury vehicle. It is a luxury vehicle. For your bachelorettes. On our roads. <laughs> yeah. Our roads are too narrow, first of all. Mm. I mean, we're going to have a car like this with wings at the back on the side. Imagine it's if fine. you're going to have to turn into a very narrow junction. You, how you, are you going to have to be what, careful is there about a way the to that you use? Suck in the wings. No, not yeah. that. But you know how these <laughs> futuristic yeah. vehicles yeah. are. I mean, I'm not speaking against them. No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking. I mean, I'm like just concerned. It's a realist Practical. point of yeah. view. Yeah. I thought it was for the police, so maybe they have a way of trying to figure this but out. But even the police would still use it on our roads. Oh, so maybe this is for... for this one. So, so, so now, so now, well, or maybe it's a honeymoon vehicle. Um, Honeymoon, <laughs> that, that could work as well. <laughs> is it going to be parked at <laughs> one place? Is it like a hotel no, or something? No, we'll move around with it. We'll bath inside. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, there's a bathroom It can be customized for you. Know, you. Yeah. If you'd like a bathroom there, this, it could this be big, it doesn't have a bathroom in there, then there, there has to be a problem. <laughs> because there are, there are it doesn't bathrooms, have to have a bathroom there. There are bathrooms on our plates <laughs> are in yeah. there. So, But I'm saying that, look, and, and uh, uh, Apostle Engineer, Doctor, good morning to you, please. Can we, in 2020, start looking at smaller vehicles that 
people can Average readily idea. buy. Are they not use. making smaller vehicles at all? I don't think I've I, seen I, any. I, don't, I have not the seen. The last one I saw what was I like saw a race car. was a saloon car. Okay. okay. And then I've seen an SUV as yeah. well. Yeah. There was a really tiny one. I know that a few one. people have bought uh, SUV, the SUVs okay. and okay. the saloon cars. I'm looking for a small car that, you know, people can use to run their business. For your everyday lifestyle. <laughs> and yeah. then you could even connect with the companies and say, let's do higher purchase. And all right. these companies do it. Hyundai does it, Toyota yeah. does it. Yeah. Yeah. So why can't our own Kantaka do it? One more question. So the president recently delivered some vehicles <clears throat> to the Ghana police. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bought well, by the Chinese. <clears throat> Oh, by the Chinese. Why yeah. did we not give the contract to this man? The Chinese is giving you money. They decide what they want to do with their money. Should we I not be the ones to decide where we get our vehicles? We should be wondering what the Chinese hmm. are looking are for in return. Of course, for our, the, the, our gold and our... And we say we are fighting hmm. Galamse. You remember they that in the, wake, have in the wake of the Galamse <clears throat> fight, hmm. the Chinese also gave immigration service and police service 50,000 cities check each. 50,000? Yes. Ghana cities? Yes, one mm. big fat check, 50,000. Nice. 50,000. To the immigration Wait, service like, and mm, to the police service. Not dollars. No, 50,000 cities. Two. They gave them. So 100,000 in total. Yeah. So yeah. we should be wondering what... You see, mm. we're always happy to receive, but we never think through what... The what giver we're losing is expecting or taking exactly. in return yeah. for what we're, we're getting. Yeah. And I'm saying that, look, we are not poor. The president said, get to Sikasso. And mm. I agree with him. Yeah. If we block all the loopholes and we collect, yeah, our road fund alone was able to generate some 3.2. Mm. How much are we borrowing with Sino Hydro? Mm -hmm. 2.2 mm. billion. Yeah. So We've generated more money than that. Exactly. Where did that mm. money go? Hmm. It's, a, it's a basic question. Yeah. The monies that we generate from our markets alone, the road tolls that, that people pay true. traveling to Accra and Tema alone, uh, they're going towards their Bree mm. and alone. That tolls We've all over. I always wondered yeah. what happens to that what, money. What the quantum of money yeah. that's generated alone every day. GRA has been closing people's shops yeah. and companies say, pay us money. Exactly. We hear the sums of money being mentioned. And yet, beyond all of that, we still go and borrow. Yeah. Why? Why? Why do we borrow? We need answers. Why do we really? go and borrow when we are making a lot of money in here? in here? Unless we're being told that the money we're making is not enough to take care of us, so we have to go and borrow at all costs. And each mm. time you borrow, you are, you are, you are giving some more debts to the exactly. generation that after you. Generation. Yeah. And we say we're paying legacy debts. We never know how much we're paying, much we're paying. and when we're going to finish paying. All we know is that we are just we're paying. paying. So and I think that's also what is affecting the progress of each party that comes to power mm. because they tell you that government is a continuum and so it's okay to pile up some debt and leave it for the next party to come in. So instead of them being able to raise some money to fix the problem, <laughs> which is what they were voted into power yeah. for, now yeah, they focus on how they can pay back the debt. And yeah. so we keep accumulating and Piling that seems to be debt. the cycle. Yeah. The and so debt. that's one major issue as well. And I've wondered why we have that cycle yeah. in the first place. Shouldn't there be a it system that ensures around. that you should make sure that you figure out, yeah. you know, how to pay off your debt even before the next party comes into power, or there should be a collaboration between mm, the two. Mm, mm. How did this happen? What are we going to do yeah, about it? Instead yeah. of leaving all the blame on one person. The, the, the big, and this the, is something the, that happened when the, the teachers went yeah, on strike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. then the NDC says that government is a continuum, and so we yes, we're pay able them. to pay some. So mm. we've left the rest for you. Pay them. Why? Well, but you see, the thing is that the key thing is to stop contracting the loans. Because if you are a government and you borrow and you leave, I come, I'm trying to pay yours, and I and borrow to pay yeah. I borrow to pay your debt. Mm. Then I leave. Crystal yeah. come. Crystal will borrow to pay my no, So we keep no. borrowing. It's, it's We're a borrow nation. Yeah. Borrow, borrow nation. We're living a such life. It's yeah. not right. It's not right at all. And, and it's not out. fair.